we shall open our project here we'll open with the code we have our project first of all we will go to our terminal i will run the project so n p m run so enter it will start our development server as usual clicking this link will open our project so far we have done with the invoice but we have to add some functionalities to this invoice one is that we have to remove the item second we have to add rows to it so other than that we have finished everything so let us uh, code that one so in order to make it faster i have already made my code but uh, i will explain you in detail so i'll just minimize it so uh, so we have first we have to go to our data we need to add some method so i have prepared the methods here i'll just copy them and i'll explain you what is what are them just uh, copy paste um, anywhere in the uh, script you can paste the methods so if you want to paste it top if you want to paste it above there is no issue with that so we this is the method we have all the methods that go under this method so we have add item i have a new object that's a new item and new item has all the de data there so same as our invoice details we have all the data here what i will do is whenever we call this add item method this method is going to inject new item into our invoice details so that's what i have written here this dot invoice dot invoice details dot push the new item this item okay so we will just go and check our code so whenever i click this uh, button it's not going to do anything else now you can see no rows are added but uh, so to, in order to add a new item i will copy this add item you so we have a button there yes this is the word this is the button so in this button i'll add at the right click so whenever we click on it on the button we will add this add item okay just we'll check whether it's working or not yes it's working so we'll see whether it's working really or not yes so product 2 150 so we have got our total here and the tax value and the total so if i try to remove them it's not possible because uh, we haven't programmed it so next we are going to program this minus button for that i have already made a method here that's a remove item it receives an id so we confirm it so let confirms equals confirm so i'll just make it is confirm so it will ask a question there so do you want to delete the data so if we say to delete it so it will remove the item from the invoice details okay so we'll just call invoice item and we'll put here so at the rate click what we'll do remove item and we have to pass an id here the id we get it from here uh, from this i so we pass the i here so we have got okay fine we'll save now i'll add a product and plus icon will generate another item for us so if i remove item it asks for uh, it asks a question and do you want to delete the data if yes and if i no i i don't want to delete then no so if i cancel it it will not delete if i press ok it will delete now i wanted to add some more data to it so i'll just delete it so i'll add a footer there this is the footer so i'll put a thanks thank you for choosing our company name so the company name from the data so we have got the company name so we want to add some css there so we shall go to our style section and we can see yes we have got it but and now so i can just print from here just uh, control p will bring us a print so i get these buttons here so this is not so good for print so i will just remove for that purpose i will add another css this is the one i'll just copy and paste it here so we have d print none so we will so whenever we print the data this will not this will not display this css so we will assign the css into our button here so just a css so the same css we need to add it here 
as well as in our customer id yes now we don't have uh, this these buttons in our print so we have completed the project so far